Hello and welcome. Today's lesson is on the laws of indices. I know you'll enjoy it, so let's get started. As I said earlier, today's lesson is on the laws of indices. But before we get into the laws, let me quickly explain to you what an index is or what an exponent is. Let's consider this expression here. We'll read this as a raised to the power b or a exponent b. We call a the base, forgive me, the base and we call b the exponent exponent or the index or the power okay so the plural form for exponents will be exponents and the plural form for index is indices and that is what we're going to discuss the laws of indices so what does b mean what does the exponent mean here so what this means is that it is a raised to the power b meaning we are multiplying a by itself b number of times we are multiplying a by itself b number of times let me use um, numbers so that it will become easier for you to understand so imagine we have a squared what we are saying here is that this means we are multiplying a by itself how many times two times so that will be a times a if we have b to the fifth power this means we are multiplying b by itself five times so we get b times b times b b times b times b. let me take that again so we have b times b times b times b times b so we have b multiplying itself five times so that is what the exponent means okay good so now let's move on to the laws of indices or the exponential laws before we talk about the laws of indices if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we release new videos thank you so now let's get into the lesson in this video we'll talk about three laws the first law we'll talk about is what we have here. If we have any number which has a power and then there is another number which has another power. Now, if these numbers are the same, what we said we call the base. If the bases are the same and they have exponents and these two numbers are multiplying, this law is telling us that we can simply add the exponent we can simply add the exponent so if you are if you are multiplying two numbers with exponents and the bases are the same the bases are the same we just add the exponent let's pick an example so if we have 5 cubed times 5 squared this law is telling us that we can add the exponent and that is going to give us 5 to the 5th power or 5 raised to the power 5. Now, is this law really true? Let's see why we say this law is true. Let's just break, the, let's just break down this expression I gave here. 5 cubed. If we're supposed to break down 5 cubed, do you remember I said earlier in the video that 5 cubed means 5 multiplying itself 3 times? And then... Um, 5 squared will also mean, let me use a big multiplication sign to separate these two expressions. 5 squared also means 5 multiplying itself 2 times. The power is 2, so it multiplies itself 2 times. So now, if we should consider all of this, then how are we going to simplify this in an exponential form? Of course, 5 is now multiplying itself how many times? five times so then it is five to the fifth power so instead of going through all the stress breaking them down before you simplify this law is telling us that we can easily just add the powers and then we have a simple expression here 
again let's try to use an, another example if we have 7 to the eighth power times 7 to the ninth power this law is saying that we can easily just add the powers and that is going to be 7 to the 17th power simple right good now let's talk about the second law if the first law was about multiplication what do you think the second law will be about yeah it's going to be about division so the second law we have here is telling us that if we have a, a number with an exponent say a to the power b divided by a to the power c we see the bases are the same the exponents are different the bases are the same what this is telling us is that to simplify this we can simply subtract the powers so it is going to be a exponent b minus c a exponent b minus c and we're able to do that because the bases are the same and when one is dividing the other we'll subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator to help us understand let us take an example but let's say we have 6 to the fifth power divided by 6 squared 6 to the fifth power divided by 6 squared now from this law we are saying that we can subtract the exponent and then we're going to get 6 cubed how is this true if we, if we should expand these expressions 6 to the fifth power is going to be 6 multiplying itself five times and let's divide it by 6 multiplying itself two times sorry um, 6 multiplying itself two times if we're supposed to cancel out let's say this cancels that 6 cancels this now what is left here we have 6 multiplying itself 6 times which will be 6 cubed and what we're saying is that we can go through this long process we can go through the stress but it's going to be difficult you know it's going to be, take a lot of time and we want to avoid all of that that is why we're saying that with the law of indices we can just apply the law and then simply get a solution to this if it is a division between the two numbers and the exponents are the same let's subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator and that is simple let's talk about the third law the third law we are going to talk about is saying that if we have a number which has a power an exponent and all of this also has another exponent what we are going to do is that we can multiply the two exponents to get a simple solution so this will be a exponent b times c and that is going to be a exponent b c again what it, what what the law is saying is that if we have a number with an exponent and all of this all of this also has another exponent then we can simply multiply the exponent let us see an example to explain it let's imagine we have um, 4 cubed all of that squared what this means is that it is what is in this bracket all squared so what is in the bracket everything in the bracket has this exponent so that means that it is 4 cubed multiplying itself how many times 2 times because the power of 4 cubed is 2 so 4 cubed is multiplying itself 2 times but we can also break down the 4 cubed right we can break down the 4 cubed so that would be 4 times 4 times 4 that is 4 cubed all multiplying 4 times 4 times 4 so how many 4's do we have here 4 will be multiplying itself how many times 6 times so that will be 4 to the 6th power 
let's count the fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four will be multiplying itself six times. So to simplify this expression we have here, we'll get uh, 4 to the 6th power. And that is what this law is telling us that instead of going through all the stress, we can simply multiply the powers. 4 cubed all squared, we can simply multiply the powers. So that will be 4 and then the exponents will multi multiply each other. 3 times 2, which will give us 4 to the sixth power. Isn't that simple? So these laws of indices will save us a whole lot of stress when dealing with exponents. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about some other properties of uh, indices. Let's quickly try to review what we studied today. So we talked about three laws. The first law is saying that if we have two numbers multiplying each other, and the they have exponents and the bases are the same we just add the exponent okay we can only do that if the bases are the same and then we spoke about the second law which is saying that if we have two numbers one dividing the other forgive me one dividing the other and the bases are the same will subtract the exponents of the denominator from the, the exponents of the numerator. And then the third law we spoke about says that if we have a number with an exponent and all of that also has another exponent, what we'll do is that we can just multiply the exponent. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video please if you did you can hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe so that you continue to enjoy lessons as we release them you can also share the video or share a link to the channel for people to also come to enjoy the videos that we are producing thanks a lot and we can't wait to release our next video